Fall can be a tricky time of year to get fish to bite. You have to be really smart with your presentations, which lures you're throwing, the way that you're retrieving them. And if you do this all right, you can have some really great success on the flat. So in this video today, I wanna to share some of my favorite ways to trigger reaction strikes from some of these spooky fall fish when you're out fishing flats, be it mud flats, grass flats, anything like that. You may have some sight fishing scenarios. You may be blind casting. I'm gonna cover it all in this video. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, one of the big things that I like to do when I'm blind casting on a flat, be it a mud flat or a grass flat, is look for those small depth changes. And that may be a depression in some of the mud. It may be some of these potholes that you're seeing in some of this footage here. And I like to cast to each of these potholes, specifically with some type of jerk shad. And as we get later on into fall, these fish are very comfortable moving up shallow onto a mud flat or a grass flat and you're going to see them get really picky with what they're going to want to go after. They're going to put themselves in some sort of depth change, be that a depression on a mud flat or a sand grass pothole. And the easiest way to get strikes from these fish is to put a reaction strike bait in front of their face. I really prefer to use jerk baits in these scenarios. So the Alabama leprechaun is really my go-to in this type of environment. It's a twitch, twitch, pause type retrieve. And you really just need to put that jerk bait on the edge of one of these potholes. 90% of the time, these fish are actually sitting in the middle of the pothole itself. So as that bait hops in and out of that pothole, it's got a really great jerking motion to it. Again, a twitch, twitch, pause. That bait's gonna settle down, usually on the drop. We're gonna find a lot of fish taking this presentation up really easily. It just looks like a small injured bait fish, uh, which a lot of these fish are going to be really heavily dieting on in the fall. We know there's a lot of mullet that are moving through these flats. Fall is really a great time to prioritize bait fish presentations, uh, but there are still some big shrimp in the inshore estuaries, and that jerking motion can also look like a shrimp that's injured, that's kind of twitching around. It's just got really multiple patterns that it can imitate, and these fish are always gonna hop on it regardless of really where you are, uh, whether you're in a grass flat or a mud flat. So it's a presentation that I like to use. Again, a twitch, twitch pause, bouncing in and out of those potholes. Now, if I'm fishing in some slightly dirty or really windy water scenarios, I'm gonna instead use a paddle tail because that paddle tail has a little bit more presence in the water and especially if it's the dirtier water it can be hard to have a visual presentation of a jerk bait that's a twitch twitch pause there's no vibration to it it can be hard for those fish to pick up on so instead again i'm going to use a paddle tail that i can just retrieve over those potholes and let it drop it's really important that you allow for that drop if those fish are there again vertical presentations as they go down trout love to pick those up Redfish do as, uh, as well, and if there's a flounder sitting in that pothole, it's exactly how they like to feed from bottom going up to the top. But what's most important is if you do find yourself in a sight fishing scenario where you've got a fish right in front of you, it's important that you cast properly to it. And what I mean by that is that you're able to intercept that fish to trigger that reaction strike. So what's gonna happen is as you throw that lure out, you need to make sure the line does not cross over its back because it'll feel that vibration of that line moving in the water. Again, this is why we try to use the lightest line possible, the lightest diameter possible, so that fish has less chance of picking it up. But if it's right over its back, right over its lateral line, it's gonna feel that. So put that line straight in front of that fish. You can kind of see exactly which way it's traveling and the speed that it's doing so. I call this leading your shot. You need to make sure that that lure is gonna pass right in front of that fish in what I call the dinner plate. So just a couple inches to ma maximum a foot in front of its face. And as that lure passes in front of that fish, it's going to, again, just pretty much have no choice but to reaction strike it. A lot of times, if you put that lure going straight towards the side of the body of that fish, uh, it's gonna end up with the line over its back or the lure is just gonna touch it and it's gonna feel weird. But if you put it right in front of its nose, again, in that dinner plate, you can almost always trigger reaction strike. But it has to be where it's gonna pass in front of that fish either at an angle or straight to the side. If you have it coming straight on, it can be a little bit tough. As you guys will see here in this video, I had a fish that was moving away from me, and you'll see that I feathered the line over to the right so that the line would not lay on its back and that it would be coming at a slight cross face on that fish. So the casting dynamics of how you're going to be sight fishing is really going to play into how well of a reaction you're gonna get from that fish. It has to, again, cross in that dinner plate to get the best strike possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed these tips. If you wanna see more awesome fishing information that's gonna help you become a better angler, I definitely recommend you check us out at saltstrong.com. And if you wanna pick up either of the lures that I mentioned today, we do have them in the Salt Strong shop, 20% off for Salt Strong Insider. So definitely pick some of those up, but I'll be seeing you guys on the next video. And thanks again for watching. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club for saltwater anglers, especially if you're targeting redfish, sea trout, snook, or flounder. 
There's nothing else like it, and we actually guarantee that you're going to catch more fish while saving time and money. We do this with our premium education, the exclusive insider community, and huge discounts on all the tackle you'll need for inshore fishing. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com, and we hope to see you in the insider family soon.